I, without fail, assigned the selfish gene to my students. Now, the selfish gene you wrote in 1976. Am I correct about that? You were 35 years old? Yeah. So, Richard wrote that book as a young gun, and I find it shocking that I have to say this, but I think that that book is still cutting edge. The reason I assigned it to my students was that I thought that in general it presented the best encapsulation of what we understood about evolutionary dynamics that was available. And while there are a few things that aren't in it that have emerged later, I still believe that to be the case. And so one of the things we may end up talking about tonight is why it is that there has not been more progress after the huge burst of activity that we saw in the late 60s and early 70s, why uh, my era has been much quieter with respect to important discoveries about evolution that we all agree are true. Do um, you have anything to add? Yes, I, I don't quite know why you find it shocking. I mean, of course we all pay lip service to the idea that progress is good and, and we should be changing all the time, but what if we're right? And so um, it, do, it doesn't necessarily follow that uh, that w what people thought in the 1960s and 70s is still largely believed is a bad thing. Maybe it is actually right. 